All right, guys, working with my main setup. So this is just a Saltiga medium light, six foot medium light rod with a pen slammer reel, 4,500 pen slammer reel. For my main line, I'm working with 20 pound slick braid. And for my main setup that I've been killing it when it comes to halibut fishing is this bounce ball rig with a propeller flasher. If you guys want further information on this setup, I'll go ahead and put all that description down below. All right, so I'm working with that adjustable hook rig. The top hook, I'm working with that Big River one ops hook. And on the bottom, I'm working with the size four treble. If you guys want further information on my leader line, where I got my baits, my hook size, everything, I'll go ahead and put all that link down below. Also, what I'm doing here is bending that herring. I know I mentioned this so many times on my trips when it comes to halibut fishing, but keep in mind guys that I do have a lot of newcomers watching my videos. So I have to constantly explain everything over and over and over again. So yeah, the reason why I bend that herring is because you want it to spin around when you're trolling. So basically, when I'm pedaling, you can see the herring spinning around. Hopefully you guys can see that. So when that herring spins around, it reacts as an injured bait. So that being said, when halibut sees that, they would take advantage into aggressively attacking that bait. So this is the reason why we bend that herring so that it can spin around, you know, once again, reacting as an injured bait. Fish on, baby, let's go! Woo, big one, bro! Yes, sir! moving my kayak this might be my 40 guys Sheesh. let's go game on baby it's not a 40 but it oh he's about to he's about to come off oh no Sheesh. I need a net he's about to come off He's hooked on the side of his lip. Okay. Come on, buddy. Relax. Relax. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Whoa. Come right out. Woo! Oh, my goodness, my adrenaline. Come on. Yes, sir! <laughs> Oh man, he's barely hooked on the side of his lip, guys. Skin hooked him. Oh my goodness. Hell yeah. 30 minutes in it. First keeper, baby. Let's go. There he is. Oh look, he spit out squid. Oh, the hook came off, bro. <laughs> Damn. I knew it. I was going to use my fish grip, but he was going to pop off. We are measuring at 23 and a half inches. Keeper. Yes. One on the board. That was a smart move using that net because he came off. Oh man, he was barely hooked. I'm all wet now. It's all good. When you go fishing, you gotta get dirty, right? Woo! So yeah, I purchased this new fish board and these new fish grips on Amazon. What I like about these fish grip 
it's pretty unique instead of using two fingers to open it you can just use one it's like a trigger and as you guys can see them fish grips are opening up really wide and that's what i like about these fish grips so if you guys want to purchase your own fish grip just like mine's i'll go ahead and put that description down below Woo, on the board baby let's go Woo, that adrenaline anyways i'm working with that leftover bait it's so cool how i'm able to still catch keeper halibuts on really old bait that's been sitting around in my refrigerator for like months on or weeks on all right so we just rebait i've just marked the location on where i got that hit so right now i'm drifting in Let's go ahead and make a U-turn back to the same exact spot. Going at 14 feet of water, trolling at 2.4 miles per hour. And that's how I got him. Just making a U-turn before I let loose my line. And there you go. Fish on, fish on. Yes, sir. Peter, come back. They're all over here. I marked their location, like I said, and I got my second halibut. That's how you do it. Yes, sir, keeper. I might want to use my net. I think we might limit out fast. Oh, yep, definitely keep it. Okay, we are on the opposite side of my hand right now. Keeper. Oh! Woo! Let's go! Yeah, I know, but it's more fun like this. <laughs> the adrenaline. Look at that, he's jumping all over the place. This is fun. This is what I live for, guys. If you trust in your own rig, your own setup, then you can do anything. Just like that. Second one on the board, baby. That's a nice 22 and a half. We are like 40 minutes in right now. Let's go. Let's freaking go. 40 minutes in. Oh my goodness. They're all over here, 14 feet of water. Okay. I'm about to limit out, guys. There we go. There we go. That's a keeper. That's definitely a keeper. Now I hooked them on the side, just like the other one, just like the first one. But I know for a fact that this is a keeper. Let me adjust myself over here. It's kind of like a tangle mess. Oh my goodness. I told my buddy Peter to make a U turn back because the halibuts. They're right here at 14 foot of water, not that far from, not that far from where we launched. But he went all the way to the right side. All right, this one's measuring at 22 and a half inches. Keeper. Yes, sir. <laughs> Woo, I'm about to smell like a little bit. Yahoo, baby! It's freaking active out here, guys. Woo! Ah, let's go! Woo! Woo, I can't believe it, guys. We just barely got out here. One halibut in 30 minutes, second halibut in 40 minutes, less than an hour. Come on, can we get our limit in an hour? We'll title that thumbnail. Limit less than one hour. But let's not get too cocky now. Gotta remember that we're out here to have fun. Enjoy the thrill, the fight. And enjoy life. All right, we gotta go back to the same exact spot. Spot. 
is dead. 20 yards of line at 14 feet of water, trolling at 2.5 miles per hour. Fish on! Already going to limit up, baby! Let's go! Feels like a shaker, but fish on! Ah, oh, it's a little shaker! Woo! Three on the board. Oh man, today is epic. There we go. Ha ha! Yes! Let's go ahead and mark that location. Keep in mind that when you hook onto a shaker, still mark the location and make a U-turn because when there's shakers, there's bigger halibuts right next to them shakers. So keep that in mind. Okay, so we got two keeper on the board, one shaker, less than one hour. Working with old herring. So yeah, earlier I was telling Peter that these halibut, they have a cutoff time where they would stop eating. I mean, they're not going nowhere. They would stay in one spot. The only time halibut starts to move out from the bay is when it starts to rain so that they can go into more concentrated levels of salt. So for the past couple of weeks and months, it hasn't rained at all. So I know for a fact that the halibuts are here but they just don't want to eat, okay? For an example, you just have to think, like if you were a halibut and you're getting free food, free rent, you know, and a roof on your head, and you're just living a life, would you want to move anywhere else? So yeah, today there's nothing but bait fish all over the place. And as you guys can see from the weather condition, if I was a halibut, I would love to stay here and not move anywhere else so yeah right now i'm just waiting until they start to get hungry again so hopefully you know the bite will pick up again let's see what happens oh yeah definitely a keeper yes sir Ah, oh, it's a little shaker. Disregard. The bite is picking back up. All right. A nice little 20. Yeah, very beautiful. Whoa, he tried to come back into my kayak. Fish on, fish on. Keeper. Oh, yes, sir. This is a keeper for sure. Oh, no, he popped off. Oh, that was a dude. That was a big one, bro. Woo. We might have a fish on. Oh, yes, fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Ciao. Come on, take it slow, Angel. Relax. We got all day. Oh, oh man. It looks like a shaker. Might be close. We might be close. Relax, buddy. They're just hooked right there on top of the lip. I don't want that hook going into his lungs or his gills. And there we go. Safely, you know, unhooked and safely released. Ouch! That's like shaker number three or four. I don't know, I lost count. But man, it's pretty active out here. Come on, fish on, fish on! Yes, sir! Damn, it's active out here, bro. Choo-hoo! 
Are we going to limit out? Let's see what happens. Oh yes! I'm about to limit out! Come back over here. No! <laughs> Woo! Let's go! Oh my goodness! Sheesh! Something is going on with these halibuts. They're pretty active today. Why are you jumping? You are not a dolphin. <laughs> Woo, let's go. Okay, let's fight them. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what in the hell? This guy is strong. There he is. Come on, buddy. Yes, sir. Whew. I think we might have a limit. Let's see. Damn, that was a pretty strong fish. But well worth the fight. Thank you for the fight, buddy. Okay. Oh, I hooked him good. Did we limit out, guys? I don't know. It looks close. It looks very, very close. Oh, man, he's so close. Back in the water you go. Damn it, that's like my fourth shaker. So close, just like a little credit card. And it would have been a keeper. You know, I am not going to lie. Those two halibut was just exact on the mark of that 20 inch board. But in my head, I was like, nah, because for those that don't know, if you keep a halibut that's exactly 22 inches and that halibut dies, that fish will shrink out of nowhere. So keep that in mind. So um, when it comes to fishing for halibut, make sure like you're over 22 inches. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on! Oh no. Probably a little shaker. Looks close. Got them good. We need pliers for this one. <sighs> Relax, buddy. So be release. This guy doesn't have that much teeth in him. There we go. Safely released, buddy. Fish on. I think this is a keeper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a big one, dude. Okay. Yeah. Come on, buddy. I think I'm about to live it out. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, it looks freaking close, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the hot shaker. <laughs> Goodbye. Go ahead, just play. Alright guys, I think that's it for today. I mean if you guys enjoy the content of this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I mean I just wanna let you guys know my plans for salmon fishing. So yeah, man, 
I just didn't have the guts to go out into open ocean on my own. So that being said, I decided to just stick with, you know, inside the bay, targeting halibut instead of salmon. So this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to wait until salmon come into the bay, okay? I'm going to let the salmon come to me instead of me going to them. I mean, we'll try Benicia. If, you know, salt water doesn't work, we'll try fresh water such as Sacramento River. But yeah, um, we are going to hook onto a salmon. Just not now, but soon. Hopefully, you know, I'll be able to get one because I haven't hooked one up yet. Anyways, I just want to get it out my bucket list. So yeah, um, I'm about to go ahead and call it a day. So if you guys enjoy the content of this video, once again, go ahead and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.